In the previous chapter, we understood what is BRDF, why it is needed, and what is the equation of BRDF. And we also understood that to calculate reflectance on different materials, we need different BRDF models, and each model has its own advantages. To write our own shader, we will use an anisotropic BRDF model to show anisotropic specular reflection on the objects. And the model that we are going to use in our shader is Ashkimen Shirley and Ashkimen Primoz. This model was previously proposed by Ashkimen and Shirley, and it was later modified by Ashkimen and Primoz. We will first understand the components of this equation. This BRDF model evaluates diffuse reflectivity and specular reflectivity. But what we will use in our shader is the component that evaluates the specular reflectivity. And now we will take a look at the equation that evaluates the specular reflectivity. So specular reflection or specular reflectivity is equals to NU plus 1 multiplied by NV plus 1 square root. So this is not the complete equation. But before writing the complete equation, we will start understanding what does each element of this equation mean. So first understand what is NU and NV. Suppose we have a sphere and we have a specular reflection on the sphere. The property NU and NV will be used to control the height and width of this lobe. So if we extend NU, it will extend the height and if we extend the NV, it would extend the width. And if we extend both of them, it will increase the size of the lobe of specular reflection. So that is what NU and NV in this equation. And we will use them as property in our shader. Then comes the second part of the equation, which is N dot H. N is the normal here, and H is the half-wave vector which is the half-wave vector of light direction and view direction. And then we have the exponent on top of it. And it's relatively a big exponent. NU, which is the same element that we used here, multiplied by H dot T square plus NV and H dot B square. So what is H and T? H, as we know, is the half-wave vector. T is the tangent and B is the bitangent. So H is the half wave vector, T is the tangent, B is the bitangent. And these are all the vectors. So half wave vector is something that we will calculate. We can use the tangent read from the mesh or we can use a separate tangent map that will define the direction of this tangent. And then based on the cross product of normal and tangent, we can calculate the bitangent. So this is the numerator of our power, numerator of exponent. And the denominator is 1 minus n dot h square. So this is the power on top of n dot h. And the denominator of this equation is 8 pi multiplied by v dot h, view direction, dot half wave vector, and then we will multiply it with max, which takes two parameters, n dot l, another parameter will be n dot v. So whichever will be of higher value will be returned by max function. And then there is last and the third component of this equation, which is the Fresnel fraction. Or Fresnel term and how we will calculate the Fresnel term is F is equals to the reflective factor that how reflective is the surface plus 1 minus reflective factor multiplied by 1 minus V dot H to the power 5 so this 5 power is on top of 1 minus V dot H not on top of v dot h. So we will replace this equation with this Fresnel term. So this is relatively a bigger equation, 
but it will be not that complicated to convert it into the code. And we will see that how we will convert it into the code of the shader. So by this equation, it is clear that we need at least three properties in our shader. Property 1 will be NU, property 2 will be NV, and property 3 will be the reflective factor. So these are the three properties that we will add in our shader. So this is the anisotropic BRDF model that we are going to use in our shader to depict anisotropic specular reflections. We are ignoring the evaluation of diffuse reflection of this model and we will keep our Lambertian diffuse law in the shader. So that is it for this chapter. In the next chapter, we will write anisotropic BRDF shader. And that is it. Thank you so much for listening.